All right. Dark Magician, Reign of Terror. Um. Uh. Uh, which one is the original version? 2015? Oh yeah, it gotta be this then. Oh shit, hang on, which one is it? It has to be this, it has to be this. Because I remember there was like a quote-unquote updated version, which was never shared publicly. And it just made the game worse. <laughs> so that was funny. Alright, it has to be this one. It has to be this. Let me just quickly... Alright. Can you tell us something about Dark Magician's development and something that gave you a lot of trouble? Yeah, sure I can, when I remember anything. But all right, let's begin. The real Dark Magician's Reign of Terror. Oh shit, I haven't played this like in years. I think the last time I played this was before I even started working on Redemption. So it's like four or five years. He <laughs> thought that was porn music for a second. This is very similar though, so I'll give you that. <laughs> Better than Redemption? Yes. Listen now! I'm going to tell you a story about Rayman! One peaceful day. Everything was going fine in the valley, until a great dark storm arrived. No one knew where the sinister storm had come from. Everyone trembled in fear, waiting for the storm to pass. Suddenly, a giant red lightning bolt struck the great platoon. Something was happening. The dark powers of the storm caused the great platoon to create something terrible. It laughed like a madman and yelled, I will take over this place for the great darkness. The dark magician started to build his kingdom. He captured the Electoons and created evil minions. Hope was almost lost. Until... Rayman and his friends arrived to stop the evil plan. But the Dark Magician was too strong! <laughs> of course he was. He captured Raven and me, the real magician. We were taken into two different prisons. Raven must regain his power and stop this madness. I only hope that he will be able to do that. Dude, suddenly silent? What the hell? Psst! Raven! You have to wake up! We don't have much time! Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. I fled from the Dark Magician and came here to help you. I've had enough of his reign of terror. No, you can't fucking, you can't fucking name drop before the game has even like started. You gotta wait at least like halfway through the game. You can't do it this early on. We must stop him together. But the real Magician is not here. You have to travel to the fire fort to free him. We need his magic! I will help you get out of this place. Let's go, Rayman! Dude, the main menu was like super loud, and now the game itself is like silentus. Let me increase the volume a little bit. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, look at the graphics. Oh my god, it feels so weird after getting used to redemption. Oh, you can't move when you punch. Oh. Okay, now the music is loud. Use the telescopic fist to break these doors. Hold down the attack key to make your punch stronger. Dark Magician was the imposter. 
This is just an excuse to give Bettila different clothes, dude. The reason why Bettila has different clothes in this game is because I thought it would be cool. Oh my god, the fist loading takes so long. Is this a custom level? Yeah. The P! <laughs> Raymond is so slow with this! Be careful, Raymond! There's danger ahead! Your first enemy is the magic minions! Punch them and don't let them grab you! Okay, thank you. You don't need to explain how it's done. Oh wait, you can run! I forgot! Oh yeah, here we go. Running is the is the OP tactic. Let's see if I'll actually able to get every cage. I will 100% this game, by the way. Well, well. Here he is! What do we have here? Our little troublemaker, Rayman. Do you really think I'd just let you walk like that? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you gonna, like, remove my legs? I have thousands of watchdogs here alone. So don't even bother trying. So instead of imprisoning me again, you're just gonna let me walk free into prison. Sure. <laughs> there he is! The edgy mag magician. Looks like jumping won't be enough here. You must use your hair to helicopter further. Hold the jump key down. Okay, thank you, Batilla. Is this shout out the headshot? Yes. Let's see if I remember all the secrets. Useless, just three things. This game must have come out just as you were distracted from gaming <laughs> by life. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the old! They look so much better in Redemption. <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? You're so weird, dude. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, well, okay, just walk, I guess. Oh, fuck! Bruh. The fist, like, spawn position is different compared to Redemption at the original game, so... Actually aiming for the rings is, like, hard. There was also a coin up there. Hunter is proper aggro in this game too. Yeah, he just won't stop shooting. Use your fist to hang on to the flying rings. You can reach further and higher with them. Remember that you can spam the fist. Oh yeah, I think if you're close to close to something, you can just go ham. Wait, is there something down at the bottom? I don't I don't remember if this is the place. I'm gonna try. Well I'll be damned. I'll be fucking damned. This wasn't the place. <laughs> it was another level. <laughs> okay. Dude, the freaking like knockback upwards is so high. Does the swinging use paths? Yes it did. <laughs> yes it did! Oh my god. It's really hard for me to see me play my old fan game. Yeah, gotta appreciate the origins, you know. Oh my god, it's so sticky! You wanna do all your punching in air because doing it on the ground is so sticky. You can't turn, you can do like, can't do anything. Oh yeah, you can easily farm lives in this, because they respawn. Yes, the same as your 2D Raymond 2 game, you had no idea how else to do it, yes! Relatable. These machines will change the direction of your fist. Maybe there's a switch on the other side of this gap. Oh. Dude, the sound from this is so weird, like, dang, dang, dang. Okay, this is where the secret was, yeah. 
By the way, if you guys didn't know, the Dark Magician, like, bonus level in Redemption, the level layout is based on the layout of the levels from this game. It's like a, like a best of kind of deal. Not an exact copy, but if you have a keen eye, you will notice some similarities. A lot of, actually. Dude. <laughs> okay. It's weird expecting the redemption sounds for things, too. Yeah. You like how I changed the sound of everything? It was Kid Me, just wanting everything to be slightly different. It, it does give the game, like, a unique flair, in my opinion. You really are trying hard, aren't you? But resistance is useless. Prepare yourself. You have witnessed but a glimpse of my powers. I will not let you stop my master plan. Dude, I haven't seen shit. You haven't done anything. What glimpse are you talking about? <laughs> He's just all talk, no balls, you know. This is the overworld, Rayman. Here you can travel from one world to the next. You might also find secrets here. Also, there are magic walls blocking your path. You need to complete a specific level to get past each. Alright, we got all the cages. Is Glockum the new bad guy? No. I think... It's like... This one. Yeah. With the secret coin! Let's see if I'll be able to complete the game without getting a single game over. Oh, so crusty! Look at the shading of that shit. Grim Chains. Ah, uh, here's the music. The music also used in Redemption, of course. <laughs> it's me! Hello. <laughs> By the way, I feel like I should talk about this because I've seen a lot of people, you know, just in general be like, Yo, Dark Magician's Reign of Terror has such a good soundtrack, why does Redemption not have a good soundtrack? Here's the actual answer. The music for this game was created from, like, existing sound clips, samples, and like, just, you know, no actual arrangement happened. It's all just like compiling some blocks like Lego bricks and suddenly you have epic sounding music. And in Redemption I actually tried to compose stuff myself, so that's the reason. Magic music, music maker, yeah, it's just samples. That's what I used for this. Yeah, <laughs> Redemption music is amazing, well I'm glad you think that way. This fucking game! Oh, the shit of peace cookie! Dude, what the fuck was that? Why does the, why do the things lead you into the spike pit? There we go. <laughs> Nothing beats the wonderful tones of Toy March. Hell yeah. <laughs> the game of all time. Well, I'm glad you think that way. Well designed, well crafted gameplay. Dude, this game has it all. Game Theory Dark Magician is actually a shit cube guy. Dude, so many peas everywhere! Why does the game give you so much pee? To be fair, you actually really improved your music skills between Redemption and Scoop Kick. Why, thank you. By the way, one thing I noticed. So, I got like new headphones recently, you guys know about that. So, with the new headphones, I was actually able to hear like bass and sounds in music I haven't been able to hear for like ever since I've used shitty headphones. So, I listened to the music of Scoop Kick with the new headphones and I was like, Dude, what the fuck? This is so bad. <laughs> it, you know, it's not bad, but it's like weird, echoey, not well mastered, the bass is off. You know, I was able to point out these things immediately with my new here headphones, so... 
I'm not gonna go back and change the music, that would be too much, but expect, hopefully, once again, better music in my next game. <laughs> what rump is this? What the fuck is a rump? <laughs> Infrasounds? I don't know. Yeah, mixing, mastering, which I was not able to do with shitty headphones. That explains why you were telling me some songs lack punch. And I didn't do anything about it. Yeah, because I didn't know! I didn't know! I was just like... No, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've always had crusty headphones. Yeah. So did I for the longest time. I like how silent the running sound is, just like... <laughs> romp to play roughly and energi energi energetically. What do you mean? It's my game. Of course I'm gonna romp through it. I know every nook and cranny of this game. If this doesn't take you under five hours, you're quitting. Oh, this is gonna take two streams, so roughly five hours, I'd say. Was this game made in Game Maker? Yeah, an older version of Game Maker. Hush! The savage minion has fallen asleep on guard duty. You need to find a way to get past him. Just don't wake him up! Okay. You think the best produced song in Redemption is Dark Chimera? The Dark Chimera boss fight music is like the fan favorite. Whenever I see people talk about the music in Redemption, they always say the Dark Chimera boss fight is their favorite. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> so many pink hoops. <laughs> yeah, the worst one. This was made in Game Maker Studio 1, which is like pretty crusty. Actually, the development of this game started in Game Maker 8. But I moved it to Game Maker Studio when it released. <laughs> three hours a stream. This is gonna take you three streams. No, dude! I'm gonna finish this in... Yeah, I think two streams is a good estimate. Torque Machines is Raid of Terror Remake! Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Game Maker 8.1. The best one. Ugh. Oh yeah, you don't do extra damage if you're like in the air, so forget about that. Balls. If you ever wondered what's like supposed to happen here, it's like the minion waking up and walking away. Oh, that was a big crash! I told you not to wake him! You have to be more careful! Beam Woman in Dark Magician's Reign of Horror. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm gonna remake Dark Magician's Reign of Terror, but I'm gonna replace Rayman with Ray, uh, Beam Woman, and I'm gonna sell the game. <laughs> Wait, I think you can just go down here, right? Yeah. Can't wait for me to forget to not get softlock into a ceiling. Oh, don't worry. Oh. I'm not gonna get softlocked. <laughs> Or fail ice level and get soft locked. Nah, don't worry about it. There are soft locks in this game. Oh, plenty. I can think of at least three. Also, there's a level where if you accidentally press a button on the keyboard, it will reset the game. And it only happens in that level. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> what? You know that! That has happened to you, Glacom. I remember that happening to you in a in a stream of this, like years back. That's a new speedruns category. Reset glitch. Beep. <laughs> I 
amazing. You wish you remembered which. You don't remember that. You remember that better than I do. Oh yeah. Dude, loading the fist takes so long. Um, no, you get soft blocked by doing the Castle of Horror twice. <laughs> Wait, do you? I don't know about that one. How do you get soft blocked by doing that level twice? Better get all the cages in, on the first go then. Or was it that you get forced to exit from the dialogue? Oh yeah, yeah! I think something like that was a thing indeed. Freaking Rayman designer balloons. Dear, why you f fight the ghost guy more than once? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't because. Oh, look at the base! What the fuck? Music kicking ass. <laughs> you get exited. Yeah, I remember that. That much I do remember. Oh fuck. Multiple heads. To be fair, the boss fight is LMAO. It is. The ghost boss fight is like one of the worst ones. <laughs> you hold down a win! I can't fucking wait to show that off. You should tell the chat up the good news. Oh yeah, I got the job! Hell yeah. I got the job. <laughs> backtracking. The forced backtracking. So once the uh, once the job begins, I'll have to see how I change my like streaming schedule. Hopefully it won't affect too much, but there's definitely gonna be at least some changes. So we'll see how things go. Red alarm! Oh, it's, it's this stage. Oh, the Kulm stage. With the kill doors. Can you believe it? Fucking kill doors in this game? What is this? Rayman Redesigner? <laughs> Work will make you tired and shit. Happen to you. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my first rodeo. You only just got back to streaming again? Yeah, understandably so. This is the level where a kill door removes your ability to get a cage. I think it is indeed. Is it a full time job? Yep, for a year. Because, you know, this is part of the civil service that you have to do in Finland. I've talked about this plenty of times. But yeah, it is full time. You lock to get locked out of the cage for doing what the things say. Yeah, it's a funny, you know, it's a trap. So don't touch the things, otherwise you will fuck the things. This is the cage you can't get. Ready to make all of Rain Redemption and studying full time so you believe in him, yeah. Still gonna make me money, so that's gonna be Epis. I think you can like get down there somehow 
anyway, but I don't remember how. Like if yeah, we got, we need the space key for that. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Except you have no idea what because the ring is off screen when they disappear. <laughs> exactly, that's why it's epic funny troller. <laughs> oh shit, I was gonna blow my nose but can't. Moving screen. Oh, it doesn't even rubber band! Mm! <laughs> I love this game, the memes, the memes, yeah, this game is, this game is something. Gives me time to jam. You just spent $150, feeling good, shipping be like, bruh. Do you want to reveal what you bought? You shared a meme with me? Wait, did you like DM me a meme? Doctor, turn off the scroongy inhibitors! <laughs> but Jack, that will make you... Uh... Crusty, <laughs> out of fact, bro. No, the memes. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now the quote. It's too slow to be practical, but if you fall, you still die because of distance between platforms. <laughs> exactly! It's it's amazing. Okay, now I can blow my nose. You remember the times when Glockon was begging for rubber banding water? Oh, good times. You ordered some Nebogus at the time, unofficial merch. Holy shit! Did you like order like a plushie or something? <laughs> you accomplished your goals. I love how you also just die instantly when you're off screen. There's no like dead air you can stand on, you just die if your feet go off screen. Now I know the power of rubber band. I know the power of rubber band so well that I've actually implemented rubber banding in my, like, every new project that I made that needs rubber banding. That was a weird sentence, but I just realized I was about to say something that I shouldn't. Like, spoilers. Rubber banding is the way. Ah, it's the freaking space key. <laughs> Why? Why do you gotta return to those levels for nothing? Like, one one level per world, and the backtracking is at the beginning, I'd excuse that, but like, every level having just like these unnecessary backtracking things. <laughs> it's my new game about the sentient rubber band. Yeah, it goes like... Doing and doing. Your mind immediately jumped to like a musical band, like the power rubber, Savage Minion. Are you still at it? It re it's it, 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 it really is foolish to come against me. One of my strongest minions is guarding the exit. He will crush you. If you don't die trying to get there, of course. <laughs> Mind immediately jumped to Rayman Origins. Wait, Rayman Origins didn't have rubber banding, did it? Is it boss time? Yeah, we gotta beat this level first though. Shut up! No plushie yet, but I can see it on your Twitter later, alright.
Epic. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I think it's the. Wait. I think you can get the cage here if you just fly and punch. You don't need the green cloud. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Complains about right. Complains about game. Also right. Made the game. <laughs> yeah, let me let me get like a gold fist and give this a shot. I think you can get the cage. It had rubber banding in tricky treasure levels, okay. Oh wait, there's no cage here? Am I misremembering? Oh, it's that one! Ha! <laughs> nice! Backtracking, what is backtracking? Imagine complaining to the manager, but you're the manager. <laughs> okay, but where's rubber banding ice cream in scoop kick? <laughs> There's a new object called rubber band, and when you like kick an ice cream at it, it bounces right back at ya. The walls already do that in scoop kick. Oh shit, you got a point. You got a point. I got stuck on a platform. Oh, the space key. Let's hope that's not for a cage. I don't think there's a cage down here with the space key, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Sometimes the space key placements are so, like, unnecessary. And they decrease during the course of the game because, you know, at, at the first it was like a funny, funny cool idea to add backtracking, but then when I made the game more and more, I just didn't add those objects anymore. <laughs> so that was funny. The boing boing sound you made for rubber branding sounds like Raymond Origins. Oh, okay. Rubber banding wiener topping. <laughs> rubber band these. Come on. This looks like a very deep pit. Maybe you should helicopter all the way down. You didn't really need to tell me that. Just let me do it. This is the Sonic game of Rayman games. Characters just keep talking and won't shut up. I did that in Redemption 2, just like in original Rayman, you only have the backtrack to the first couple of levels or so. Levels. Oh, that's true, I guess, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, how the fuck are you supposed to know about that? Like, some of the secrets in this game are out of control. Like, it's just... Random ass pit, yeah, jump down, no clues, nothing, and there's a cage. <laughs> Betty less the Oma Chow. Oh, how do you get rid of this? Oh. Oh, they're released! You did random ass pit because you wanted people to backtrack with the cage. Okay, I thought. I swear that was not like a, like an intentional idea, but it's a good side product of trollish kid thinking. You know. Give up already? I'm bored with you. <sighs> All right. Enter the next room and get killed. It was nice knowing you, Rayman. <laughs> 
You like backtracking when it's done, right? Same. Backtracking is good. <laughs> you laugh how I complain about this game as if I didn't make it myself. I was a child when I made this. I'm, I'm a, like a completely different person now, so of course I can complain about my past decisions and mistakes. Oh fuck! The big man! Let's see if we can do the speedrun strat. Nope. You know what this mean needs? A little bit of screen shake. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Look at the, the, it lacks power. The freaking like punch or like ground pound lacks power. <laughs> no screen shake. Screen shake? Screen shake can be done right. Also, if there's screen shake, you also need an option to turn screen shake off. So that's definitely something, you know, I'm gonna do in future. He's allergic to Tetris. No, it must have been the fucking space key. I knew you could do it. You have escaped. Now we can finally get out for some fresh air. Tropical Isles, let's go. This world is like overly hard. <laughs> Come on, you played way worse shovelware games than this. This is an okay fan game, plus you were young and inexperienced. At least you finished it, and that's something you can get proud be proud of. That's exactly how I see it. I finished it, and I'm proud of that. Welcome to the Tropical Isles. What are the f red fleshy characters supposed to be? Just like dark magic, dark matter, whatever like goopy blood-like substance it is that dark magician produces with his magic. Welcome to the tropical isles! This is a pleasant place full of tourists. However, the dark magician has corrupted it. The statues have come to life to wreak havoc. Something is lurking beneath the waves too. Oh, like a shark, dude. This is the third hardest world. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And it's the second world. Dark Magician ran of the tiles in Redesigner when? <laughs> Let's fucking go. The level design in this world is bonkers. There's so much just unnecessary going back and forth. Oh, by the way, guys, here's something interesting. When I made the uh, anniversary update for Redesigner, and I added the cheat code that spawns like the special objects. And the running lightning bolt is there from this game. I originally, or like the original idea was that I add the living stone with the umbrella instead. But the sprites were so stinky, I was like, I don't wanna make new sprites, so I just used the lightning bolt instead. Also, I know Glockum likes the lightning bolt, so. Most difficult worlds in, worlds in order. Desert, Flying Mountains, Island. Yeah, seems about right. Yeah, Glacum loves the lightning bolts. And now that he has committed to playing all redesigner levels, I can't wait to see what people, like, make. The desert is fucking hard. The desert is unfair. <laughs> Dude, imagine fucking... I just went all out. I had no idea about difficulty curves. Nothing. I just fucking made it so hard. Even I had trouble speeding it. Crazy. So like the original Raymond then. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. There's a cage up there, but I, I think I need the... Oh, wait. Dude. Dude! Oh my god. 
You didn't realize I made different worlds for this game. What do you mean? Did you only know about like the first world? Yeah, there's like uh, seven worlds in this game. That was off the top of my tongue. I don't know if there's actually seven, but seven sounds about right. <laughs> Original Raven is fair and just fun. Yeah, this is a whole game. It's bigger than Raymond Water. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh no, wait, what is this? Okay. You just got to the second level of this game. The funny thing is, even though this game is like super crusty, it's not completely unplayable, so I could see someone, like a hardcore Rayman 1 fan, just playing through this game, if they are looking for a big challenge. You have also never played the game, just seen a bo uh, your bonus level in Redemption and the occasional screenshots. Well, then, I think you'll enjoy this series since you'll see the full game. Did you also make the music for this? I did, but, like I explained earlier, it's compiled from existing, like, samples, so no actual arranging happened. I did like make the music, but I, you know, didn't make the music. Look! That, l that looks like a power-up! Power jump shoes! This lets you jump much higher than before! Now you can reach places you couldn't before! Yo, what? Read his other boots? Real? <laughs> you played this game four times now. Can't go wrong with Rayman the Dark Witch. This is Rain of Terror you would recommend. If you wanna torture yourself. Especially if you already think Rayman 1 is hard. Yeah, go for it. Dude. Feet. There was a thing, so I hope there's also a platform. Whew. Look in the top right co left corner. The drip. Holy shit, it's the drip! <laughs> the, the Agos! It's the real drip. That's crazy how, th how things work like that. The Agos. I think the game is pretty creative, though. And it's nice to see you bringing new ideas. Redemption is very different. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> I just said, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. Would I consider this game Gossig? <laughs> Guys, speaking of Gossig, I got Gossig Rotta. Hang on, I have a picture. Let me show it to you guys. I got the real Gothic Rotta. And here it is with my Jungle Skog. Gothic and Jungle Skog are the best friends. Gothic. I also added it as an emote, but I don't think it has uploaded yet. I heard a fucking gem door. I think there's a sus cage here. Yeah, I remember this. It's like... <laughs> yeah, here it is! Oh man, I remember this cage. It's funny. It's just there, in the void. It's hard to like determine where you are when the background doesn't move... ...properly. Oh, there's a cage up there. I don't remember how you get that. Oh, there's a cloud. I think you just... yeah, there we go. Go see Grotta. Yeah, it's right Rotta, but I don't think it has up uploaded yet. Approved yet, that is. What music is this? It's it's from this game. Music I made for this game. 
It's the Dark Magician's Reign of Terror music. <laughs> oh, fuck. You made this? Yes. But like I explained before, it's made from pre-existing samples. But it's pretty, still pretty, pretty slapping. Swedish lesson. Gothic is cuddly. <laughs> nice. Why do the red guys have such suck for feet? Wait, what do you mean? No one's sucking any feet. What do you mean? No one's sucking feet. What are you seeing? They have the thing? What? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, you mean uh, the feet? They're like the suction cups. Oh, yeah, 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 because... <laughs> I don't know. Dark magic in it. Oh, no, did I miss a cage? I think I fucking missed the cage. And now I can't jump back. Oh, this is a Glockum moment. This is a fucking Glockum... Yeah, it's a fucking... No! Wait, I, let's die. <laughs> you love how dramatic the death is? Yeah, just pieces flying everywhere. There's the golden cage. Let's get the coin now that we're here. Okay, I can't. <laughs> Why does he fall apart like that? <laughs> you were not ready. Surprising that we haven't seen like a death like that in any game, Rayman game before, because to me it only makes sense that he would just collapse into pieces, because when he passes out, the magic that holds his pieces together, like, relaxes, so he's just, you know... <sighs> Same happens when he sleeps. In my... head cannon. <laughs> Dude, Livingstone bald. That fucking, like, leap of faith. How are you supposed to know there's anything here? Oh no, I don't think you can actually get to the exit from here. Oh, you can! Yes, we got all of the cages. Suction cup, man, look at them go. <laughs> Your head is a cannon. Zeus. Dude, dying in the world map ain't that funny. Why is that a thing? At least you don't lose lives. Hello there. <laughs> Raymond fucking explodes! Yeah. Just... When he dies. Alright, what's the next level? I think it's the evening, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's the shop. By the way, guys, I know what you're thinking. That is not the musician. It's a different character. Oh my goodness me, this shop is a big mess. Should really tidy up the place. Oh, hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? Uh, sunscreen. Yes, please. Buy that shit. You would fart if he fell apart like that in a 3D game. Physics objects flying everywhere, that would be amazing! <laughs> Holy shit, it's Borshu. <laughs> Dude. Right, should, should you re-upload your Ray Mansion level to Ray Distributor and don't change anything except add darkness? Yes. That's devious. Dangerous night. Oh, it's these fucking RNG 
here's a fun thing. The fireballs they shoot are completely RNG. So enjoy. It'd be like that one video with Crash on the left and Raymond just kind of falling apart at the right. <laughs> <laughs> Love a bit of evil, RNG! You really like the tickies. Hell yeah. The fire mouth ones are cool. I fuck. Yeah, look at this. Wait, can I reach from this side? Yeah, I can. Oh, thank god. If I could travel back in time, what would I tell my past self? I would say, keep at it. You're doing great. Kind of funny you should would say that because today I actually found like a time capsule like letter we had to write in school like six years ago to myself and I opened it and it was pretty cool like kid me talking to me I, th I feel like I missed a cage. Heart attack P! <laughs> Why is that a thing? Oh my god, I feel like I missed a cage again. But oh well. Here we go. I I fucking can't remember where all of these like sus cages are. Like should I really be jumping off from like every single freaking like ground ledge? Six years ago, bro, you were like 30. <laughs> I, I feel like I missed at least two cages here. This is annoying. Yeah, I'm a baby. And I was even a babier. I wasn't... Wait, that's not English. <laughs> I, was, I was even a babier six years ago. Baby, -er. I love that word. Mm. <laughs> ah, fetus. Feet? Six years ago was exactly six years ago. <laughs> Your baby, -er, that be. What is fucking baby? -er. Who's the babyest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the babiest of them all? I like how you can run jump from the rings. Like, you don't lose your, like, running momentum, you can just... <laughs> pop, 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 pop. On the scale of one to baby, how baby are you? <laughs> Pretty baby. Ugh, pee. I always wanted to eat the pee as a kid. I thought it looked delicious. Kinda like a candy. Especially the tiny one that's just like bouncing around. <laughs> you're not a baby anymore, you're a fully grown child. <laughs> Hell yeah. The baby scale should be measured from 1 to Tom Holland. <laughs> but Tom Holland is like a man. Have you seen his like body? Oh, 
Don't you what me? I didn't need to bring that up. Alright, there we go. Oh! <laughs> He's a baby Nathan Drake and baby Spider-Man. Is Tom Holland babier than one? That's the real question. All those crawler time. And it's funny because you have to return to the beginning once the auto scroller is over because that's funny. Who's Tom Holland? It's the actor of the latest Spider Man. Nothing to do with France's old president, no. Then let's go back because why not? And don't die. Oof. Here we go. Oh no, what is this? Oh okay, it's wait. Oh no. Whew. I remember failing that jump once. So you had to sit through the entire auto scroller again. And now we go back. I like that the fist goes off screen. Yeah. It ain't white. Oh. Why did I stop? Why did I hesitate? Oh. Oh. Well, at least the cage remains collected. Now we gotta sit through the freaking auto scroller again. just joined. Honestly, the game looks really nice. I <laughs> thank you. Nice for its time, at least. <sighs> Fucking stinky Anos. This song goes hard. I don't think I ever actually uploaded the soundtrack anywhere. So the only thing that's available is like the mono version that comes with the game. Maybe I should upload the stereo version, the HD, the, the studio cut, or <laughs> whatever you would call it. Do it, yeah, maybe I should. Oh, this is the funny cage, like, what? Alright, I'll try to come up with something, maybe I'll upload it to YouTube. And then like a separate download link. DUDE WHAT THE FUCK SPAWN KILL! Dude, we need to return to these levels with the fucking locator, this is Anus. Call it Rhythm of the Dark Magician. <laughs> or the, or just Dark Magician's Reign of Terror OST. Where's the... Here we go. Hey dude, I think I burned my skin in the sun. Could you find me a bottle of sunscreen? I'd reward you if you do that for me. Come talk to me again when you have it. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. I owe you. <laughs> How do we just get coins? Oh, uh, yeah. Those are completely irrelevant for, like, game completion. You don't actually need to take the stuff to the people. Because you need the items for uh, this. Dark Magician's Rhythm of Terror. Guys. I read that as Piran Asshole. I read the A Shoal as Asshole. <laughs> Fetch quest? What is this, Bendy? <laughs> Oh, 
Fuck. <lacht> ah, schon. <Alter. lacht> Pirata Asshole, little forbidden level. This part is so crazy because it's just RNG balls. There we go. The lack of transition between the level select and the level gets you every time. It's just a hard cut. This poor need the game out, so. Yeah, how am I supposed to get that? Wait, was there a cage on the left? Oh, I'm gonna try. No, I don't think there was. How would you visualize the thing coins in 3D? Would they just be things with a sonic ring around them? Yes, they would. It would be a thing, a thing. And there would be a ring around it rotating. And maybe the thing would be a bit different, like look a bit different, so it would be easy to distinguish during gameplay. Ansel more like incel. Holy fuck, dude. I'll make you eat those words! <laughs> he explodes when he touches water. Got the piranhas. <laughs> Ansel gets no bitches. That's accurate. He has six kids! Ansel has six kids? I thought he only has two kids. Well, I think it's good he keeps them out of, like, you know, the fame or whatever. <laughs> Have you seen the Duke Nukem Forever 2001 build that got leaked? I haven't seen it in action, but I saw some tweets about it. I'm not... I don't know anything about Duke Nukem, so I'm not that interested, but it, I know there was, like, a... Uh, the Duke Nukem game was in like dev hell, so it's pretty cool. Wasn't the original Rayman OST also largely compiled of samples rather than actually composed music? There's a bit of composition going on, but yeah, a lot of it is just samples. Especially in the CD audio. The actual compositions happen in the Atari Jaguar version. Yeah, of course, not trying to shit talk the LSD. You think his wife already had a bunch of kids when they got together? Oh, well, I don't know Michel Ansel lore. Where's the gender? Where's the gender? I need to get up there. That works. Where is this going? What the hell? The build literally has porn in the game for some insane reason. <laughs> Dude! Well, uh, actually, yeah, mm, it's Duke Nukem. I'm not surprised. Yeah, good balls. Gendar? I hardly know her. How about you kill this door? Oh my god, I need to make a gif where it's like <laughs> some dude like destroying a door with a hammer and it's like sped up and there's just a text that says kill door. Okay guys, speedrun time with the... Oh, it's no, okay. No boss yet. I'll show you a speedrun strat for the boss. It will be legendary. Oh, porn of real people. Well, doesn't Duke Nukem already have like big nudity? But yeah, that is kind of weird. Very weird, actually. 
You wish there were more Rayman fan games in the same vein as the first game. Thankfully, Rayman Golden Redesigned explode all the potential of this engine. Oh, explore, yeah. <laughs> Feet! I love red feet, they allow me to jump. Oh. Wait, wasn't there like a like a thing at the bottom? Should I go there? You finally finished coloring the feet! Oh shit! Beat! 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 Beat. beat. Dude, too many feet. Too many feet. <laughs> Good English. You're projecting right now. Or something else. So I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate speedrun strat for the for the octopus boss, the octopusy. Sorry, that was a James Bond reference. Pushy, speed Bond, James Bond. Well, hello there, Rayman. It's actually nice to see you alive and well. Now you'll make a perfect playmate for my pet. Playmate? I don't know why, but that sounds kinda dirty. It should say like a play like toy or something like that. A new toy for my pet. <laughs> Dude, he's always laughing. He's always laughing. So crack. Alright guys, watch and learn! Did I technically predict the evil magician before Origins? I think Origins Origins was really re re yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Origins was released before this game. But I'm I'm not sure. I'm not certain. <laughs> Fuck this boss before the release. I can't. I. How do you fucking remember this shit? <laughs> All right, here we go. 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 <laughs> Evil Easter egg. Okay, guys, get ready. No! 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 Oh! I missed. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, you can do it in, in a single cycle, if you're good, but I'm not. Check Dreamcast? Okay, give me a moment. Can't believe Legends released all the way back in 2013. Crazy, right? Alright, here he comes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! You made it! Oh god, I'm gonna show this on stream. Guys, take a look at this. Rayman fans be like, <laughs> Yucky made this. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right, my personal favorite world. 
Techno Towers. These are the Techno Towers. This place is a mountain of batteries and wiring. Everything has been built by Professor Pascal. His lab is underground. Dude, Betila's voice is like breaking apart. Oh, here they are! Glaucom's favorite enemies. And they are also now in Redesigner. <laughs> They're adorable. Hell yeah. Totes adorbs. Dude, Hunter, please. Professor Pascal sounds familiar. You're starting to think I'm being sarcastic. No, Glockum has a plushie of this bad guy. That's how much he loves them. Adibu. Wait, why do you say Adibu? Pascal, I like the coding language. Yes, it's an intentional reference. Oh. Imagine being able to ledge hanging this game. Who gave... Who gave the lightning guys Rayman shoes? <laughs> I don't know, man. You were thinking Pascal like the French math mathematician. No, it's... it's That might actually be where the programming language gets its name from. But here it's supposed to be a reference to the programming language. You're thinking Pascal like the Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, you can get stuck or fucking ground if you like, you know, unstuck. Mandalor these. It's scary. <laughs> what was Adibu posted in chat earlier? <laughs> no reason, no idea. Awesome. Oh fuck, look at that! How the hell did that happen? I did not remember that cage existing. You found four George Lucas heads. Yeah, in the Lego pile, that is. You like how I animated the moving wires in the background? <laughs> they wiggling. Okay, which one is the, is the secret? I think it's the one before this. Yeah, we need that, so let's go back. They're running. Do you mean like <laughs> literal George Lucas heads? Or the ones that look like George Lucas? The ones that look like the old ones with the gray beard. Because that's the one they used for George Lucas back in the day. Yeah. It, it's, it's the face that was used for George Lucas set in the studios, uh, studios line. Has there been a real George Lucas fig? Kinda. But I don't think there's been a modern one. Also, I think there's a cage down there. Like, under the clouds. A cage you can't see, so it's all or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> there it is! That's so fucking bad. Did this somewhat inspire the music stage in my unreleased game? Not really. In that game, the music uh, world was inspired by like futuristic, futuristic bandland. 
but there is no intentional connection to this this world. Did they use the piece in any other set? Yes, a lot. But they also used it for Georgie because it happened to look like him. Battery base. You're gonna play some tunic. All right, see ya, dude. <laughs> you love Georgie. He's so precious. <laughs> This level is funny. Also, I think you can damage boost to the exit, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait for the lightning bolt to go. Oh, fuck. If you ever wondered what they like balls are that shoot lightning at you. They're supposed to be Tesla balls. Dude, that cage wasn't even hidden. Also, this part directly inspired redemption. You pull the switch and the lightning bulbs activate, even though they don't produce light and they look shitty. I used the same idea in the cave level in... Uh, ah, there's a cage up there, yeah. Can't get it, need to backtrack. With green fart clouds. Yo, I see you. Dude, why are the cages so easy in this level? They're just, <laughs> they're just littered everywhere. They're not actually hidden. Alright. I can't see the bottom. I suggest you helicopter all the way down. All right, all right, all right. There's a scummy secret here, I think. Ooh, I need that. Why is Bertilla blue? Uh, blue, because it's cool. That was the only reason. Kid me thought it would be cool if Bertilla had an edgy, edgy color scheme. It's because she's sad. Oh. I'm Buddha body body ba Buddha body. Oh, when you ask that, I should have responded with if if she was green, she would die. Oh, I'm I feel ashamed. <laughs> Betty lost emo face. Real though. She's having a tough time right now. Yeah, it's her emo years. She has like thick mascara and shit. <laughs> we need edgy Teresa. <laughs> That's so oddly specific. Also, yes. Oh, I don't. I'm not gonna talk to that guy. We need the battery. Wait, do I have the battery already? Yes, I do. Analyzing. Initializing request. Activating conversation protocol. Unit number Y requests a new battery. Help unit number Y, and you will be rewarded. Standby mode activated. Thank you. Unit number Y is grateful. All right. Thank you for the coins. We need to be there for her. <laughs> Edgy Joe when? <laughs> y is not a number though. What do you mean? It's a letter. Why should it be a number? <laughs> Bad machine! Oh my god! Here it is. Unit number Y. Oh, I see what you mean. He said unit number Y. <laughs> Dude, Techno Towers is so short compared to Tropical Isles. Like, r for real. Was I like rushing? <laughs> Was I rushing when I made this world? Yes. You can get that cage. The 
concept of bad machine is really cool, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> maybe I couldn't count yet. Do you guys know what the bad machine stands for? It's B-A-D machine, actually. And I unironically love B the, the B-A-D machine, because it's so funny to me that there's a robot called Bad Machine, and the Bad is actually an acronym. Big Angry Dummy Machine. <laughs> no, I actually remember this. <laughs> it stands for Brutally Advanced Destroyer. <laughs> no, that's amazing. It's like very big beaks, guys. Same energy. Big's big adventure. Dude, why did I go there? Oh, yeah. The hunch. I had the hunch. Again, easy cages. If you can't come up with all these like secrets for the cages, don't have six cages in each 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 stage. Have less cages. So you can have more elaborate secrets. The level design is so fucking Mario Makery, if you know what I mean. Like, no real game would actually have this level design. Alright. There he is! The bad machine. Sleeping. Large and he's in charge. Maybe level design was the first step on the way to good level design. True, you can't skip a step. The fit, <laughs> fitch. The Fitch doesn't launch itself, like, high up when you're off ground. Oh wait, it does. This is weird. <laughs> you don't know how anyone can level design. Your brain just can't grasp the concept. Here's my secret to level design. Just... Put blocks and make it fun. When I make games, level design is one of my favorite things. You just make it as you go. That's honestly the tactic. Sometimes I have like an idea for a gimmick or like a like a thing I want to repeat in level. But mostly it's just making as you go. <laughs> How can anyone come up with a level layout? You're a big level design fan? Yeah. Level designing is cool. You once got a prize from Nintendo for a Mario Maker level? What? What did you win? Ugh. Agreed, level design may be one of the most difficult processes for game building in your opinion. As having worked on a few games in Game Maker. You love building a gimmick into a design of the world as well. Yeah, exactly. You won Mario merch! Amazing. Games like Redesigner and Mario Maker are good tools for learning. Hell yeah. We skipped the activation. Oh no. Oh, there he is, big angry man. And loud sound effects. 
and cool music. If only the pupils followed you, that would be great. This is just Raymond's basement too! Holy fuck. Where's the time machine? Mario Notebook, Mario Magnets, Mario Pennies, and I think some keychains. All just like cheap Mario merch. This world's music has big 80s vibes. Yeah. That was short, but hey, here's my favorite. Okay. The Flying Mountains is my favorite world concept wise, but execution wise, I still prefer this one. I'm gonna bring Flying Mountains back someday. And they will look greater than ever before. These are the flying mountains. Ancient magic has caused the rocks here to float. You have to be careful not to fall. Nothing super special for that prize, but the level got shown off at the Dutch event, showing the game off. So that was neat. Cool. Okay, cheap cages time. Let's see if I remember all of the locations. Also, it's, I like the music. Dude, what's going on? This level is going places. <laughs> Green grass for the mountain tiles is so strange to look at. How long did it take you to make the game? I honestly don't remember. I think it was three years or something. Basically the same as Redemption. Because even though the game is longer than Redemption, I was also a kid who didn't care about quality, so I was able to make stuff faster. But I think three years is about right. Yeah, <laughs> level design is bullshit, but thematically it's... Cool. The music is absolute vibe. I really gotta upload the stereo HD versions to YouTube. You like the world's concept? It feels like a Greek mythological level. Yeah. I've always loved the idea of just flying mountains surrounded by clouds and shit. Holy oh, shit, Kakum! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We found Gakum. Here's the funny thing, it's not a reference to Glakum because I didn't know Glakum when I made this game. It's just a plum. Jump on him? Yeah, he gets all flustered. Wow! What's the scope of your next game? Will it be a big project or it will be more like Scoop Kick? It will be a big project, but the big in quotation marks because I'm still working alone, so I'm not gonna try to, you know, like, go crazy. I will try to keep the scope and not, like, not let feature creep eat away, but it will be bigger. It will be redemption sized, I would say. Fun <laughs> fact, you can soft look on top of Glockholm. Yeah, you can. I remember that. Chunky project. Chunky sized. Guys, if the previous music... Speak of the devil. What the hell happened there? Okay, let's die. He just went inside the ground. I think they glitch out if you land on them 
with iframes, so you gotta be careful. This game Rai has been working on even before he started the scoop kick. True. And it was in concept phases even before I finished Redemption. Finish lesson. Flying mountains. Hmm. That would be Lendavat Vuoret. Flying mountains. Lendavat Vuoret. Yeah, here's another vibe music. You think it makes sense Glacon breaks the game? <laughs> He's just trying to find a way to finish it really fast. It's thematically like accurate. So next game would be considered your Magnum Opus thus far. I think you would could say that, yeah. Because uh, so far redemption has been like my biggest thing. But the thing is... I would say like 80% of redemption, you know, it's still a remake of the original game. It's not original, even though there's original stuff in it. But the next game will be fully original. Nice cage. Oh so, yeah. Can't believe Boongi Battle of the Froongi Scroongi will finally be revealed soon. Dude, I still wanna make a Boongi game. But that has been in the back burner for a while. I actually wanna make Boongies into 3D. <laughs> Full branded Rai original, indeed. Floating rocks. Oh, balls! It's this auto scroller. Boong is in 3D! Yeah. It's gonna be like Lemmings 3D. Can't wait for when I'm ready to start teasing the game. It's still a long while away though, yeah. Can't wait to tease it either. You know, even though... Even though it's not like, important per se, I love making teasers and shit. Because <laughs> I just love making teasers. Arrow down. How 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 unique. Are in this game designers wonderful? Can you ask what my next game is most inspired by? You think we all can say Raymond will play a, a part in the inspiration? I'm gonna say this. It will be inspired by a lot of series that I love and hold dear to my heart. I'm not ready to be lied to again. Where's the hammer in the scoop kick? <laughs> oh yeah, the freaking hammer. From the live action trailer, the cinematic trailer. You should buy a website, domain and post cryptic teasers on rygames.com. Not kidding, I'm actually... I'd like to buy a website domain, you know, just have a little like hub, link to my games, link to my streams, YouTube, whatnot, but uh, not yet, maybe at some point. <laughs> Humdara inspired game! That would be amazing. Humdarus. his music. The JS. <laughs> Where's the Ham Ham Heartbreak spiritual sequel? Dude, it's it's Hamdar but with ferrets. What would that look like? You never played a Hunter game? It's basically like a kitty RPG, but surprisingly fun and like m mature, even though being aimed at it's aimed at kids. Kids.
and then we can just skip back to the beginning. It was an adventure game from a top-down view, like Pokemon or Zelda, yeah. Oh yeah, this fun- <laughs> this funny cage! That's a classic right there. Mega Gorsig. I think you can get that cage too, so you know, no, no need to like... Wait for the green clouds. Alright, see ya dude. First thought came to mind was maybe like a Pokemon Mysterious Dungeon game. Well, kinda. I'm gonna try from flying the green cloud. Oh, it's possible. It's possible, but tight. Maybe I can jump down from the top actually. I'm gonna try that. <sighs> that was scary. You put a graphic of the background at the end of the 99 things, so the tiles aren't visible anymore. Is this genus? <laughs> That sounds fucking Anus, not Genus. You genuinely really like the music, it's super chill. Hell yeah, hopefully I'll be able to replicate this quality one day. <laughs> oh, you removed it! <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get to the cage. Actually, I think this is the final... final place. Dude, what? There's actual, like, clouds up here? Oh, it's just a... yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get that cage. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna get that. Because I don't want to replay. <laughs> Revisit the stage. You love the idea of the pink rings in distress from an enemy hanging on them. Yeah. Would be cool to have an enemy act like that. Hazard by swinging on them too. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, okay. I counted. It's like 8 seconds. So I've got a punch with the on seven. Oh, no parallax, baby! Let's go. All right. All the things I do to avoid replaying this stage. Okay, I'm gonna die. It's not worth it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Tight. You should design the protagonist for your game, even if you actually never make the game. You would love to work on a game in some way. If I had all the money in the world, I would just fucking hire artists and musicians, but alas. Fuck, I didn't count. <laughs> ah, ah! <coughs> oh my god, that was tight. Yes! Cheese, cheese these. Cheese these nuts.
That's very gossig. <laughs> you can't stop saying gossig. When multiplayer streams your next game, you'll become rich. That's how it works. That's how it works. Oh. Uh. But then I just make my own huge YouTube channel and stream my own game. Hang on, that's already what I'm doing. But it's, you know, I'm not huge or anything like that. But I'm already streaming my own game, so... <laughs> Imagine if Markiplier made a game. He would just, like, have instantly, like, millions of people just buying it. Hope your next game becomes crazy big and you'll get all the recognition you deserve. Let's hope. You wish Markiplier played more platforming games. He never finished the Crash Insane Trilogy. Oh, I didn't even know he played that. Next year, Scoop Kick Dev Playthrough, that's the plan. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Nice to see a customer in a place like this. They all stayed on the ground. A flying shop isn't the brightest idea, is it? Ah, oh, space junk. I love how you have to use your cursor for the shop and you can play the entire game without it, you know. But that's the only place where you gotta use your mouse cursor. Flying Mountains, Alien Assault. Alright, this place has some funny cages. Any emotes? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I haven't had the time. I've been working on all their stuff. Maybe I'll do them tomorrow. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You remember this sun game being a lot darker in your head? We all like to joke about the edge, but I've seen edgier shit than this. Also, I think there's something down here. No? Okay. Once you break through and become super famous, you better remember us. <laughs> Don't worry. I will. I say that as if that would ever happen. As if that would ever happen! Somebody once told me the world is gonna hold me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. You know. <laughs> this game isn't edgy enough. I agree. You know, in my, to me, I love edge. But I also love mixing edge with like things that look cute, but not in like a like a creepy way, if that makes sense. Like Kirby is the perfect example of what I mean. Kirby is cutesy, but Kirby can have edge, and Kirby can have scary like scary bosses and shit. Like Kirby is the balance I strive for. <laughs> Where's Ray Gun? <laughs> you need Raymond saying. Where's that damn fourth cage? Nice cage. Talking points from your official review for Lax Edge. <laughs> nice. This cage, once again, you can cheese it. It's gonna take a while, but you can. And I'm gonna do it. I hate how nonsensical the secrets are also. Just like, you know, like that makes no sense. It's just a single jump with a cage at the end. They should reveal like new paths and like new puzzles and all that shit.
think games like Kirby and most of the Mario RPGs strike a perfect balance in harmony uh, between lightheartedness and edge. Did you know about these cage cheeses before you tried uh, before you tried them? No, I don't think I did. Like I remember when I first saw you stream this. I think it was in like 2016 or something. That's when I first learned about them. You think the worst level I made was circus? Wait, you mean the bonus level? <laughs> I love the bonus level. It's so obvious where to go. Just you wait. Oh, is that a cage? Oh, it was. Holy fuck. How are you supposed to know? 69 cages. Oh, UFO! I like these cages, they're just here. Oh no! <laughs> it's too close to the edge! Holy shit, it is the edge, Joe! I forgot he exists! We were talking about him! Edge Joe. I can't believe it. What is UFO an acronym for? Unlimited fucking... Oh, then. Kind of wish the boss fight of the flying mountains was actually related to the theme. This is kind of leaking to the next world. Oh, that was the idea. Oh, you know the real acronym, you were wondering if it's like something different here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it at fucking all that, that's it. Give me those coins! Alright guys, next up is one of the one-off worlds. And the fact that they have a single level is actually intentional. I missed a cage! Brother. Almost space. And of course the level is called the final frontier. And then we do it again, 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 and then we do it again. This level has the best sing along. Wait, do you mean wub a dub in the tub? Did you see that? The hand was weird for a moment. Don't re don't forget guys, it's not space, it's almost space, even though there's like alien mushrooms here. I do really like some of the ideas I had for this game, like the world ideas. Would be cool to revisit them. Was there like a cage here? No. It's easy to tease about how it's almost barely space. <laughs> That's the point. And the boss instantly returns here and it's just like easier than before, like bruh. Rayman should actually go to space for real. He actually will in Rayman Mini 2. In Rayman Mini 2, Rayman will travel into space. <laughs> Rayman Mini 2, space adventures. Yeah, he will turn into a little ball.
Oh my god, jump didn't work! What the hell? I cannot believe it! I cannot believe it! Did I see the Brawlhalla Street uh, Fighter trailer? Yeah, I did. It was really cool. Kind of weird. It's still weird to me that they used Rayman, because Rayman is not the main character of Brawlhalla, and he's not the face of Brawlhalla. But, I'm happy to see him there. No edge lejang? Nah. I didn't know how to program it back in the day. Space feels like one of those locations that almost always has to be reserved for one of the last worlds. Like Sonic Adventure 2, yeah. The game even states it itself, the final frontier, yep. Is this the wap ba dub 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 wap 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 ba dub 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 wap ba 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 dub Oh, you meant the jump not working? Yeah, that's Sonic Adventure too. Oh, here we enter the space colony arc. Is there a cage down there? I don't remember. I'm gonna wager no. This music goes weird really soon. What did that spawn? I feel like I'm missing cages. Oh well. Oh, I got out before the music went weird. It's weird, Rayman has been getting attention from Ubisoft lately. This trailer, one of the tones in Brawlhalla. Uh, yeah, baby Rayman for the animated show. And Ubisoft mentioning Rayman. It almost makes you think they're planning something. Almost. Rayman 4. What's your head cannon for the aliens back then? Joe's species, but Joe was a friendly one. Yeah, that was the idea. Like, Joe is the only good one. The other ones are like... You there! You are not welcome here! This path leads to the space station's core! So back off! Raven 4? You unironically enjoy that trailer. It's pretty bopping. There's a speedrun trick here, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you float to the right, you can actually skip the entire level. If you damage boost correctly with the lightning bolt, the enemy shoots. Just seeing Rayman Globox and that crow character vibing at the start was really cute, yeah. You're not welcome here. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. If you float down there and like damage boost with a lightning bolt, you can do it. And I think the first person I saw do it was Glakum, of course. Dude, what? This one I remember. You gotta like keep punching and eventually you'll get a cage. And then you just go down. Guys, 
You see this? Don't punch it. It will steal your fist for the rest of, rest of the level. It will be stuck in an infinite loop because... Why? It really is something else. You hated this level. Yeah. You can't like break this and enter the secrets. Le epic trolley or something. Oh, where's the cage though? Oh, there's a pink ring up there. Oh, yes, you can do this. That was scary for a moment. Oh, fuck, alien android boss. The boss! He's actually, like, jumping around. Oh, no. I think you can just, like, spam him. He shoots every time he takes damage, if I remember correctly, so... Yeah. You actually got owned! Can't b believe you made this boss a door. It was okay without the cheese! I'll show you how to beat it without the cheese. I just... Okay. This is the intended tactic right here. Ah! Fuck. Alright, well now I have full HP. Oh no. Dude, this is Anus. This is like Anus Ultimatus. Oh no. <gasps> he goes crazy for a moment. This is the first boss that actually has like a dying animation. Was I like getting better as I made the game? That's weird. There, <laughs> there it is. The space key. <laughs> Congratulations, Rayman. You have found the alien's blue switch key. Now you can finally get to Professor Pascal's lab. But first you should test the key right here. Yeah, so it's just like a gender. Bruh. <gasps> no, there was a key! Guys, if I remember correctly, there's a cage in the key screen. And once you like pull the switch, you gotta like return back to the beginning and you get the cage. Oh, I guess this guy's good too. Uh, oh, hi there. I crashed my UFO some time ago. Some important parts fell down to the planet. If you find them, please bring them back. I got him. Oh, thanks. Now I can fix my UFO. You found the clip? Wait, do you have a clip of it? Oh no, next world. Mm. The next world is oppressing. It's kind of interesting, actually. The secret lab. Okay, let me take a look at this clip of yours. <laughs> oh shit! Hang on. Let's take a look at this.
Oh my god, hang on, it's like silent. Space place. Almost at the space place. Almost space. But not exactly. It's a not a place in space, but it's almost space. You could feel it on your bones when you look at the place. It's <laughs> almost space. Not exactly gonna tell you that to your face. Oh. Amazing. It's almost space. But not quite. This skull graphic? Yeah. It's just a realistic human skull. So yeah, this is where you needed the... The switch. The final world will be actual space. Almost space. Almost! But not quite. Secret lab. Toxicity danger. Okay, guys, get ready. Toxic warning. Damn, this background is so bad. Raymond is so toxic. God. <laughs> Toxicity danger? Twitter? Real? The blurriest shit. I fucking remember. I fucking remember you always complaining about the blur. I agree with you, by the way. But I, I remember that being super funny. How it's always the blur. <laughs> they have the tentacle looking enemies. This world is also long, if I remember correctly. We need more lab worlds in games. With giant beakers dripping fluid, boons and burners, you have to avoid the flame off and climbing up test tubes like ladders. Yeah, I agree. It's a cool, underutilized, like, concept. Yeah, <laughs> this background does suck, I agree. It looks super bad. It's just the tiles. The blurred up. Alright, see, dude. You don't remember complaining about blur, but you just didn't enjoy this world. Yeah, it's it's just like fart the world. the sludge cannons. Oh, I remember this. There's a secret. Oh my god, the freaking sound like a... Dude, I love cannons in video games. I don't know why, but cannons that shoot periodically allow for so many like cool mechanics in my opinion. In segments like these. I could just make a full game about cannons. able to avoid it. Oh. There we go. Actually getting one-ups. Oh. <laughs> Kirby games just have cannons everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Shooting projectiles, avoiding projectiles, that's the shit. I keep trying to do the redemption jump punch trick. Oh! I 
think there's a secret in the corner. Was it this world or something else? No, it wasn't. Oh. Oh, here it was. I like how these green clouds are here, like like the P-switch blocks all of a sudden. <laughs> like, what? This random place here just randomly make it easier. Like, it's the only instance in the entire game where they're used like that. This game is so crazy. It's all over the place. <laughs> there something at the bottom right? I'm gonna go check. Just in case. No. This background is way better than the previous one. Even though it's kind of crunchy. But you know. That's actually the candy chateau like swirly background over there. Flipped and turned green. Alright. Yes, we got everything. You like the pink rings get all sad <laughs> when the suction cup men hang on them. Yeah. I like how this level is just called wrong way. Oh, it's this fucking level? Hang on. If I remember correctly, there's a cage. There's a cage on the left. Oh yeah, you gotta do them both. But you can also just die, so let's do that. Rocket Fist level? Not yet. Almost, but not yet. I think it's the next one. The fucking Rocket Cube is so... cool. Oh, oh, cool, cool cage. Oh, you can actually see it. Never mind. Then, before you fall down... Or like, I mean, before you go up here, there's a secret if you fall down. Yeah, before you go there, it'll lock you out, so let's go here. That's <laughs> not cannons. <laughs> rocket stages, mm, emote. Dude, you don't like the rocket cube? I thought that's like your favorite mechanic in the game. Yeah, this side has a bunch of electricity. What was hap uh, what was happening there with the skulls as radioactive symbol? It was freaking out. <laughs> yeah, some of them do that. It's a different variant. <laughs> I also said you like lightning boys. Well, I don't make the rules. It's just facts, you know. I remember you screaming of joy when you played this part right here. When the lightning boys, like, keep spawning at the bottom! Yeah, exactly that emote. Like, oh, mad. You can't react to lightning, boys. <laughs> Is it that just what I did? And now, now, they're in Redesigner. That is splashing in the bath. Actually, I think they're slower in Redesigner, so you can thank me later. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have the gold fist. Now I can't get the thing. Oh my. Wait, yes I can. Whew, that was scary. Alright, this level. Dude, this level is fucking weird. I remember this. You can skip the entire level if you have the green clouds, like... Mm -hmm. What is this bubbling thing from? You mean the water? It's actually the lava. Sprite from Rayman 1, just colored green. Yeah, Rayman 1 Sprite, right. Indeed. This cloud section is taking a while indeed. And if you go down here, there's a secret. And watch me like die instantly because of this or the enemy. Oh my god. The cloud section can soft lock you. <laughs> I remember. Was something like if you uncrouch at a certain spot, you just get stuck and the cloud stops moving. Something like that. Uh oh. Don't wanna get splashed. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> All right. There we go. I think that was the level. No, there's still one more area. Oh, yeah, this area all of a sudden, like, tiles don't work as you'd expect them to work. Because this level was actually designed by... Wait, Dromed? Was that their name? Yeah. He actually made a couple of levels for this game. Because I remember when I was a kid, I was like... You know, I like your... I like your Rayman designer levels on YouTube. Would you like to make a couple of levels for this game? And he was like, yes. So that was pretty cool. That's why the, you can clearly tell it's made by a different person. Because of the way the tiles are used. <laughs> I like the way he said yes. Wait, where was the cage and how do you get it? What was the name? Dromed. I think they're still around. They were in my old Discord at least. And I think they've also made redesigned levels, so it's pretty cool to see they're still around. Did they just disappear from the from the community or whatever? Yeah, we're 100%ing this world. First try. How would you ever feel about selling merchandise of your games and properties? 
Dude, if I had the chance, I would fucking do it. Like, I'd, I'd love, like, a Scoop Kick plushie, Scoop Kick shirts, or something like that. But the problem with merchandise is, you have to put money in them to possibly make money, you know? You can't just snap your fingers and suddenly there's merchandise. You have to actually invest money to hopefully make more money. So, you know... But if I can figure out, like, a cool way to make mer some cool merchandise, maybe something that I make myself and ship it out to people who want it, that could be cool. Scoop Geek ice cream. Right, is making meat sauce ice cream plushies as we speak. Dude, I'm gonna make a new ice cream flavor, kind of like Ben and & Jerry's, and it's gonna be sausage juice with ketchup. Unfortunately, international shipping is absolute hell. Yeah, 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 but, you know. Oh, fuck! It's this! Ah! Sudden fucking jump scare moving screen. You need to acquire the selling permit, the manufacturers, materials, copyright costs, etc. Yeah, it's crazy. Ketchup ice cream? Yeah. Trademark and dry flavor. What? Did a cage appear or something? Why is that happening? Yeah, shirts and plushies would especially be great. Man. Miss Cream plushie would be amazing. For real, honestly, I should quit my job and join Skull Monkey's brand Hot Dogs Inc. But that's disgusting! Because they vomit in the music and I that's disgusting. Ah! No! Didn't have time. And again! You liked how the camera just kept on going for a while? Yeah, the respawn period in this game is like... Weirdly long. You just stare at nothingness for a while. Yeah, and ketchup on ice cream is disgusting too! But at least there's no vomit sounds. Skull Monkeys has such a good soundtrack, but then there's that one track where they vomit and I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Soda ice cream actually sounds interesting. I think soda ice cream is real. Dude, what was that? Oh, it was the gold fist. Ah, uh, troll. There will be vomit sounds once someone tries it. Ah, oh. is this the cube level? Not yet. This level is long. I remember. You can put ice cream on cola. That's a thing. I should. I should try that. It sounds. Pretty cool. Oh shit, I also had an idea for Scoop Geek fan art. Wait, it wouldn't be fan art because I made the game. Uh, Scoop Geek official art. So, I gotta draw that shit. Here's the thing. You still can't believe this game has no hanging power. What do you mean you can't believe? I was a child! I didn't know how to program that shit. Oh fuck, what? Dude, I thought there was a cage somewhere in here and I just went looking. Oh well. He can duck. He can crawl. But don't ask him to ledge. Hang. 
Yeah, you can duck right like this. It's actually used with hunters. He has a funny face! Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe it was over here. Oh no, it was behind the door, I remember now. There it is. Let's get the metal plates, whatever it is, down here, secret item, and let's figure out that uh, cage. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, there was just a secret down here, okay. This background is better than the other two. I like how the pipes are like circling and there's like a fart cloud in the middle. you balloons no this music is kind of repetitive it's only like this and nothing else at least the other tracks had something else Mr. Stone Arena background, but with random toxic pipes. <laughs> it's actually not the Mr. Stone Arena background. And you call yourself a Rayman fan? Bruh. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't even a lab. What do you mean? This is this has big lab vibes. This is just a dub. <laughs> this has massive lab vibes. I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, Mr. Cage, because green clouds. Let's fucking go! <laughs> it appears you can't reach any levers, except for this one. Maybe it will help. <laughs> Dude, you that's completely pointless. All right, let's go. The funny rocket cube. Can you believe Glockum actually wanted me to add this to Redesigner? He was begging. No, thank you. You hate this flying box. Dude, what did the flying box ever do to you? Yeah, it looks close. The background with the like fart tunnel was actually from uh, the 2D prototype. You forgot this is a stupid rabbit's level. No, 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 no. The, the previous background is from the Rayman 2 2D prototype. Not a rabbit's game.
that box was so painful to control and blew up in one hit. If I were to remake this game, the controls would be better and it would have HP. It would like, if you collide with a wall, it would get like a little crack or something like TONK! And if you damage it too much, it would break. Yeah, <laughs> you're a rapid! Bro, I can't believe you would say that about me. Glacum number one rabbits fan. There we go. And you have to go like back and forth here, it's kind of... Stinkles. Rayman Raving Rabbits is the best Rayman game. I repeat, Rayman Raving Rabbits is the best Rayman game. It helped to steer the series into the right direction and saved the franchise. It's an iconic line. <laughs> Twisted, they mean the GPA game. Holy shit, that would actually be real. What was it that the Weird Rabbits fan said about Rayman again? Was it something like, how can Rayman even fuck he doesn't have a cock or something like that? Yo, it's Professor Pascal, let's go! Your favorite part about the box is if you hit the lever too fast, sometimes you lose camera control of the box. <laughs> Yes, I remember that. What? Is that you, Rayman? You banished me to the past. How did you get past all of the traps? You are very stubborn, aren't you? That's good. It's more fun when they don't give up easily. Oh, that sentence doesn't have like a... Dot. I think I'll torture you before I cook you! <laughs> Dude, what? Torture you before you cook me? Cook me? You hate this boss because you have to use the box. Oh shit, let's go! He has proper cannons. Imagine being able to see him, though. Ooh. And now he jumps. And we gotta climb. And box him. This is so weird, suddenly the boss has like multiple phases. I clearly got better at making bosses as I <laughs> made the game. You say it's time to cook. Holy shit, you found it. Okay, you know what that means. It's time, once again, to retweet this tweet. Once again. Raymond Raving Rabbits is the best Raymond game. I repeat, Raymond Raving Rabbits is the best Raymond game. The Rabbits. Oh no. Raymond Raving Rabbits is the best Raymond game. I repeat, Raymond Raving Rabbits is the best Raymond game. The Rabbits saved the whole series and turned the Raymond franchise into the right direction. <laughs> it's so good. It's it's so fucking good. I, I just can't wait. It's from 2019. Like three years old. That's the best tweet on Twitter. And they're the same species. Yeah, I think Professor Pascal is like the same. Guys, did you know about that speedrun tactic? You can hit him before he actually close to, goes to the thing. Oh, here we go. And now you gotta like navigate through these 
cubes. <sighs> you didn't know about that? Hell yeah, finally some gameplay uh, speedruns that I can teach you. I think you can do it twice if you're fast enough. And he's just there. Swish swoosh. Dev only strat. <laughs> Just in time, actually. Just in time. I think we're gonna continue this next time. Let me just go to the next world, give you guys a little tease of what's to come. Next is Desert of Despair. A very fitting name. We leave desert for tomorrow, for Thursday, because I don't stream tomorrow. It's Wednesday. This is the Desert of Despair, one of the hottest and driest deserts known. It's also inhabited by living cacti. Alrighty, Batilla. Fun in the sun. Un in the sun. Alright. This world is fucked! <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. It really is fucked. Alright, so yeah. Thanks for watching uh, Dark Magician's Reign of Terror. It will return on Thursday.